And now you know how to make clashes, how to use the search sets, how to use the timeliner on clashes, and how to make special rules to exclude some objects from the checking list. But now let's uh, find out something about uh, manage, managing clashes. And let's open the file, go to open, and from our materials, the 7 folder, let's use this one. 03 clashes and WF file. And in this file, we have four predefined tasks, four predefined checks, and let's try this one ducts and structural columns. Okay, and let's go to select, and as you can see, we are going to check ducts with structural columns categories on the elements. Okay, and let's run it. And now we have four clashes. The first one, the second one, and as you remember, you can click here and then hide others, this is oh, the objects, then dim others for the second one, the same one. And now all of the clashes are put in one place. And as you can see, let's go to the first one and then hide others with this one. Go back. The second one is this one. And so, uh, for the first and the, for the second clashes, we have only one reason. Only one reason that only this object, one object, duct, is not in place because now we have intersection between two of these columns and this one duct. And we can group it. And in real workflow, we can take two objects, two clashes, and then group them like this one. Right button and group. And name it, and it helps us to have less clashes. And because this one is like like one, there's really one issue, one problem to check and to resolve it. And then we can check all the clashes, make the groups, and name it. And then we can try to check it, check it, and to resolve. Okay, and it's really help us to work with clashes. And now what we can do next? We can take this this elements duct and let's resolve problem really in Nervous work. Go to item tools, move and move it. And now as you can see Nervous work has noticed that we changed something and you can update this and check but we can update all the tasks if you need with this button up at all. And now, as you can see, status is changed. The two this statuses now is resolved. This one is resolved and this one. Because we do not have any intersection in this model now. And this one is active. And so, if you need to clear all resolved clashes, you only have to press this button, compact. And now we do not see the resolved Resolved um, clashes. But what about this one? Now it's active. And why do the active but not new? Because we have, have updated this model, and after that, it's not the first time when Nemeswork has noticed this intersection. It's the second time for it. But now let's press this button. Reset. When we press this one, it's like a pretty, pretty one new new task, new check, and we have no clashes in it. And when we rerun it, now it's new. And when we run it next time, now it's active, because it's not the first time, but the second one. But when we press this button, reset, it's going to be the pretty new one, check, and it um, clear all the history about it. It delete all the history, all the statuses for this check. And let's rerun it, and now it's it's pretty new now. 